Hello, I'll just make this uh, quick video and talk and how to draw the golden ratio, the phi, which is very well known, very popular, but also the silver ratio. And I'll put the links in the description to the channel uh, uh, Geek37. He does, uh, he's done a lot on this, especially recently. And so those links will be in the description. Um, so we have the golden ratio. I have a, a golden ratio, 1.6180 1 for it, but uh, one way to express it is the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. We also have the silver ratio, and that is the square root of 2 plus 1. And just a way to draw it, I always I really like the, the, the Vesica, very simple. Uh, basic construction and how we can create the golden and the silver ratio from this. I've done previously on the golden ratio and uh, now I'll just do a quick one just again with the Vesica how this is a, a very cool tool for compass and straight edge um, geometry. It went way off of that. Okay, so let's make a construction line to start with. And okay, I'll just leave that there we go. So start with the vesica, two circles, um, they both have the, okay that should fit, without changing, I'm using this construction line, okay, so now we have the vesica, now we need another construction line running down the middle there, and so you've created you know, 90, 90 degrees as well, so this is another way why the uh, I think the Vesic is a very cool tool for drawing. And to, I missed the point now. So we're going to define the half radius of this circle. So that, we're going to, that will be, turn up. so now this is defined as one. And so we'll use now, with our center point there, put our compass there and reduce it to the, I want to be as accurate as I can. Okay, so now we have the circle there, and so we have our compass set to that, what would be defined as one. Let me just try to get it spot on. That should be good enough. And you're yep. Yeah, you can always think of it as the eye, you know, if you look at it like that way, but so now we have a circle, we know that then the radius of this smaller circle is one, so one, 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 all the way around. And now we just bring in a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have Pythagorean theorem. And let's use this for a moment. Okay, so we know that that is one, that is one also. And so if I create this tri triangle, now using A, so we have one, I'll uh, use the same color. Okay, so we also have this is also one. Now a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so one the camera, okay. one squared plus one squared equals c in this case one plus one equals two. Therefore this the hypotenuse equals two because it's a square, so therefore so two squared. Therefore, the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So therefore, this line here is the square root of 2. And my compass is still set on 1. So, actually, I'll do it another way because I want to keep it all on this line. So now what I'll do is I'll set... Now, one way to do this would be to extend the line 
and we already have our compass set at 1 and so we already have square root of 2 making blue. therefore this section is the square root of 2 plus 1 therefore this is the silver ratio but I want to keep it on that line as well so again another way you could do it uh, to you just reset your compass to the square root of 2 1.414 around about there and this would now also be the silver ratio uh, now to create the golden ratio and square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 I should have done this earlier, but now I'm going to go back to our original setting. So those first circles. Now by definition, that is 2. So 1 plus 1, that's the same distance as there. So our compass could, you could, is now set at 2. And again on the center point there. And now you could draw a circle all the way around. But I'll just mark off these two points because now this portion is 2 also as is this. Again Pythagorean theorem so if this portion here is 2 and we know there is 1 therefore from here to there we create a triangle and so we want to know what is how long is this portion the hypotenuse of this particular triangle and and Pythagorean theorem uh, you, it's uh, 47 in um, in the elements but again for the a squared plus b squared equals c squared 1 is 1 squared then 2 plus 2 squared which equals 1 plus 4 equal, and c would would be 5 therefore because it's squared so this would be the square root of 5 square root of 5 not of 2 and the golden ratio square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 so we already have 1 so now we set our compass to the square root of 5 mark that off and so now, a different color. So now, this portion of line is the square root of five plus one. So also, so this portion is now two phi, or the golden ratio times two. And uh, now, all we need to find pi, all we need to phi. All we need to do is bisect the line and so just set your compass to as long as it's over half it doesn't matter you can eyeball that easy and we do it again here we've now bisected we've cut that line in two and therefore that or this one as well that we now have phi and and also here we will have phi. And yep. So one silver ratio, golden ratio from the Vesica. Have a good one. Uh, and check out Geek 37, I'll put links in the description.